Hi everyone, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors. And in today's short video, I'm gonna show you an example of an About Me page. And what you should do with this page is take it, create, make your own, and use it to really fill out those common questions that you get from your users as they're using the report. So some of the information will be standard, who to contact, how to contact the person, when it was modified, a version number, but really, if you've got calculations or the data is coming from different places and you get a lot of questions that you can just put into the text of the report, add it in there, and then train your users on how to look for the information themselves in the report. And then this is a constantly evolving page in your Power BI report. As you modify things, as questions come in, you can update it there. Please subscribe to my page. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. it really so for this example in an About Me page, I'm using an existing report I already have. Uh, find one that, that you get a lot of questions on. It's probably the easiest one to get started with. Uh, in this case, it's just a COVID report that I had built out as a sample. Right? You can see I've got COVID by county. I've got a member impact. And then I've created this About Me page. So if I click over on the About Me page, um, this is where I've got my logo. A lot of times you don't want to use your logo on your main pages because it's just taking up space, but you do want to have your company logo on your reports. This is a good way to get it included without using valuable real estate on your analytics pages. Uh, you can see I've got a, a section here on who to contact. Um, so put in the appropriate information for you, whether it's your help desk or an individual user, whatever that process is. I also like to put in the last date that the data was refreshed. I know Power BI has that. Um, in the tool now, but it's also good just to pull that in, have it on the page. So if anybody's got a question, they they know all the information about the reports in one spot. And then some type of information around the version. So come up with your own internal versioning numbers. But here, uh, every time I modify the report, right, I could do a, a 1.4, I could make it 1.4.1. Again, some way to know what version is on this powerbi.com service versus what you may be modifying. It's really important who modified it, when they did it, uh, the report owner. So is there a person in your company that owns the report? Does the department own that report? Put that on there so you know, if you're not the next person doing the modifications on the report, you know at least who to contact well, with questions. And then for this report, right? I just have a report information. Where did I pull the information from? Uh, you might have multiple sources if you're merging stuff together. Again, it's business user focused, so you don't want to have a ton of detail, but you want enough that people understand where did this data come from. And then calculations, uh, I've got a couple on here. And again, if I've got 50 calculations in my report, I may not want to put them all in there because some are pretty standard, but ones that, again, if you're getting a lot of questions on them, make sure you're adding those on there. So come up with some type of template, use this as a guide, and start adding these into your reports, and you will definitely reduce the amount of questions you get over and over on the same type of information as you build out and get more sophisticated with your About Me page. If you have any questions or need any help, please let me know. Again, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors. Subscribe and like my videos. And in the comments, if there's anything that you want to see future videos on, please let me know. Thanks.